already the host site of Super Bowl 38 in 2004 and the Final Four in 2011. Welcome to Reliant Stadium for this AFC matchup between the Patriots and the Texans. What a matchup we have at wide receiver today. Two of the biggest threats in the NFL who love to cause chaos for opposing defenses. How about this matchup, Phil? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. When you have uh, speedy wide receivers, what you have to do, you got to make sure your safeties are smart, they're talented. Both teams have that because it is easy in this game nowadays to get the football to the wide receivers. If they can't get open down the field, just throw them some screens on the outside and dare the defense to tackle them makes the move and gets around the defender. in the backfield. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense at time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second and 12. A takeaway. He stacked up at that point. Well, nowadays, the linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. First down here. Let's go. They'll go shotgun here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Andre Johnson able to hold in the touch pass. Well, this is good confidence for the offense, isn't it? to move down the field early in the game and get inside the 20. Let's see if they have a play up their sleeve that can get them in the end zone. Let's first go. down, following the long play. Staying with the passing game on first down. Knocked away incomplete. Uh, take no chances when the football is thrown in the end zone. Don't go for an interception sometimes. You could kick the ball up in the air. Hey, don't do that. Knock it down. Fosters lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Quick drop back. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver so it's easy for him to make the catch and he can protect himself also. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's out of bounds. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. Well, Jim, that field goal puts him in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. setting up the return. This is a big time return. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. And it's Riddler. Good piece of tackling. 
the 22. Ridley's lined up in a single back formation. The handoff, running behind the tackle. Got the first, and he's got some space. Ridley rips off a long one. Steven Ridley in his second year last year, what a difference we saw in him. So sure of himself, runs with great power, and nice job that time picking up big yards. Ridley now makes the move to the right. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Tom Brady under center. Second and one. They'll run it with him again. Right side. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Ridley lined up in the backfield. He fires it in there tight. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The give and gains maybe four. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. The Texans go with the dime formation here on defense. Got a couple. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Now this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football like you said. And he breaks the plane. He breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. The Patriots with the PAT to come. Extra point is good. The Texans ready to receive the kick. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Offense lines up here. First and 10. Throws to the right. With two hands, he has it. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. This is just a good example of how the NFL has changed. If you want a big play, you don't always have to throw it down the field or design something special. The throw to these wide receivers short. We can see they're able to take short passes, break tackles, and with their talent, they can... Ball comes out. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. After nearly turning it over, it's second down. Three-step drop. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Makes the grab. No one's going to get him now. And in for the touchdown. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Makes the PAT. Ready to swing his leg as aggressively as possible and send the football down to the end zone. Now on first down, it's Ridley. They go to the right side. Picks up about eight. 
Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. Second down and two. To the ground here. They've got him down there. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. It is Ridley. Wide to the left. Game of six. Good run that time. It results in a first down. It moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Hire that defense out. First and ten. Tom Brady unleashes the long pass. Patriots in for the score. How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. He made it. Steven Gostowski's readying his team for the kickoff. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Offense lines up here. First down and ten. Foster. They run right. Gain of three. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second and seven. The quarterback will hand it off. The tackle is going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Nice job that time by the ball carrier. Get it just past the first down mark. Big first down. Keep the chains moving. One last play before the quarter ends. First and ten, and they go back to the ground. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. It's now second down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He'll be caught down, but not before picking up the first down. When you play this uh, cover three defense, just kind of sit back there and try not to give up the big play, that is great. The problem is you give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slam pattern at time? The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He makes the catch. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Good job by the receiver running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space, and making a nice catch. After the pass play, game seven, second and three on the way. That ball is picked off. Got a little crease. Most NFL linebackers, their borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. First and ten, running to the right, taking off the Patriots. Get a first down. Steven Ridley's out of LSU, so you know when you play at LSU, you know how to run the football, and what a job he did in the second year for the New England Patriots. Big game that time by him. He'll throw it over the middle, makes the grab. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. And it's Ridley. The ball is out. And the defense has it. You've got to protect the football on the offensive side. You don't protect it the way these defensive players can run. You're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. And 
Daniels has split out wide on the right. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff to Arian Foster. Arian Foster, maybe he wasn't a great success at the University of Tennessee, but he's a great success in the NFL. He knows how to churn out those big yards. Arian Foster lined up in the backfield. Foster's going to secure the handoff. And Daniels is playing out of position in the backfield here. Second and five, looking to the right side and throwing. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. And Daniels is the receiver all the way to the right side. First and ten, and the quarterback gives it to Arian Foster. He is tackled right at the 50. Good job by the offense, kid. Another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field, the defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. Gary Kubiak Let's on go. the sidelines for the Houston Texans, a Houston hometown boy who's been in charge now of the Texans for quite a while. Yeah, he's done a good job with this organization. One of his first moves was to go out and get mad job. That has paid off big time for Gary Kubiak. And I, I think the team has had enough success and the failures in the playoffs. I think that's going to, it's toughened them up, Jim. And I expect them to be a better football team because of that. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Drop back, shotgun formation. And complete. And picks up the first. Well, there's a lot of ways to get it done. Just remember, throw it to the open guy. You never know what's going to happen afterwards. Short pass that time turns into a long gain. Good job by the receiver. Foster's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. They're going back up top, challenging the defense. Texans in for the score. Now we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The Texans lined up now for the point after. There's a yellow marker down on the field. Extra point is good. Awesome. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. Texans getting ready to kick it away. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Nickel formation for the defense here as they go ground here. When you see long runs like that by running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision and he has talent, but how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. 51, 51. Oh, New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He'll fire it out to the left. The quarterback throws it on the mark. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Second and eight. The throw to the left. 
Oh, almost caught. That well, was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. Tom Brady under center. Third down and eight. A lot of zip on this throw, and Danny Amendola brings it in. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. And that's a two-yard game. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes if you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Nice job by the quarterback that time. Got outside the pocket, got away from the pressure, uh, gave himself time even though the pass is incomplete. Good job of avoiding the sack. Ridley lined up in the backfield. Third down and eight. And Ridley goes to the left, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Offense lines up here. Brady still has it after some nifty play action. Well, it's just a bad play call that time by the coach. It's fourth down. You've had a long drive that goes down the field, and you make that call, you deserve to go off the field. formation here for the defense first and ten tossing it to the running back he's brought down the Texans signal for a timeout they have two remaining Ready for intermission. First, three, one more play. Let's go. Three, three. Here's the handoff. Running off tackle. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. That does it here for the first half. Patriots trail in this one. We'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. We're back here now in this one where the Texans lead by three. Tackles made right around the 26-yard line. Arian Foster lined up in the backfield. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Well, these are the kind of throws in the NFL, Jim. You just take for granted that if it's open, you are going to hit it. But the quarterback makes a big mistake, leads the receiver too far to the inside, and it goes incomplete. Second down now. Get ready. The formation here, shotgun, eyeing that left side. The Texans now move the chain. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. First down here after the completion. to the air here on first down. Andre Johnson on the deep pass makes the catch deep down the middle of the field. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. The Texans for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. <laughs> Texas.
Jackson getting ready to kick it away. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Patriots go with two tight ends on this play. Searching for space to the right. And here he goes. No stopping him. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. Extra point was good. Patriots now getting ready to kick it away. The tackle was made. It's first down as they head to the line. Foster. And he'll go to the left. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Johnson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and eight. They'll run it here out of the weak eye. Going to lose yards here. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. And Daniels is a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Throwing now to his left. They pick up the first down with that reception. It's third down and over 10 yards. You got to give your offensive line a lot of credit. They give the quarterback extra time, and he makes the throw down the field to pick up the first down. Foster's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. And this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second and nine. He'll fire it out to the left. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. And Daniels is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Third and nine. Looks to his left. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Got the hand up into the sky, and that means fair catch. down on the way. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. Down to the 15. Good job by the safety diagnosing the run, getting up outside and making the tackle for a short game. Shane Vereen lined up in the backfield. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Gain of 16. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense. They've got a first down now after that catch. Brady's back in shotgun formation. Throws to the right. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard, that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete. The big hit by the defender.
failing to complete that one. So second down here. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. Tom Brady under center. Gets away from the pressure, looking for an open. Jonathan Joseph with the interception. Got a big lane. There is a flag down. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. to the line and it's first down they'll give it to the back out of the eye and there's only two yards to be found right there you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive so you have to run the football every once in a while that run even though it was a short game it served a purpose Arian Foster lined up in the backfield tight ends in motion here Second and eight. Here's the handoff to Arian Foster. That brings the play to an end. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. And Daniels is set now. Split out wide to the left. First and ten. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Waits for an opening to unfold. Six in the books. You want to make your coach happy? Have the lead and have your offense. Just keep pushing the football down the field and score and increase that lead. Count it. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back from the site of Super Bowl 38 here in Houston for the start of the fourth after the break. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Shane Vereen lined up in the backfield. Handoff running to the left side. Breaks the tackle. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. First down here after the run. Tom Brady unleashes the long pass. Tackles made. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven, but the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? This play set up by the long gainer. They feed the running back. He'll go left. Running play went for 11. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? So, first and goal to go. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. That leads us to second down. Ball is out. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Play action. Fan intercepted. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points.
They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. And the quarterback gives it to Arian Foster. He's got room. He's tackled at the 30. Well, when you're on the defensive side, if you read the offensive formation, where do they have the most numbers at? And that's usually where they're going to run the football. That time the offense goes to the strong side, gets outside, you should have an extra defender there waiting for him. Terrible job by the defense. Foster's in the backfield. Single back set. Foster going to be a tackle for a loss. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Johnson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and one. Run it again. He'll go to the left. Even though the defense knows you're probably going to run the football, it's third and short. If you run hard, all you need is a little bit of a lane. We see it there, able to get the first down. And Daniels is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and ten. Screen play is on. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Foster's lined up as the single back. Second and one. Here's the handoff to Arian Foster. Muscles through the defender. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. to move the chains after that last run. Action fake. Trying to work that left side. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. And the quarterback gives it to Arian Foster. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Foster, middle. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Texas, touchdown. To me, still one of the most exciting plays in NFL football. A long running play for a touchdown. And how about that one? It had it all in its speed. Good moves, good blocks. Exciting touchdown. Texas getting ready to kick it away. Turn ends rather quietly short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. Tom Brady under center. First and 10. It's Brady looking long. Almost intercepted that time. They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, 
read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. Under fire on that throw. That's not good timing between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback that time throws it too quick and too far in front to the wide receiver on the slant route. Shane Vereen lined up in the backfield. He motioned the receiver around to the other side. Working that left side. Almost intercepted. The Patriots in the pistol. They send the tight end in motion. Quarterback drops back, play action. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Down inside. red zone now trying to score as quickly as possible and listen the defense has got to know the situation here it's okay to give up a few yards maybe give up a completion just don't give them the big play that gets the quick score corners formation here for the defense first and goal fosters taking the handoff five yard total well you get in a situation like this Jim the offense they get in the huddle they know they all talk about it. If we score here, the game is over. And here we have second down. Here's the handoff to Arian Foster. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Goal back to Houston. Touchdown. Well, Jim, with that touchdown this late in the game, that ices it. And if you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the life, but we know you can't sing. So the game is over. That's going to be a costly penalty running into the kicker. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. 55. In this game now, it's just so spread out. Everybody is so fast. You just can't avoid it. Concussions are just part of the game, and uh, I hope he's okay. Very nearly intercepted. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait to the receiver uses his hands and once they go up put your hand in between them and knock that football down what a play second down following that incompletion he'll fire it out to the left reaches out and grabs it and they bring him down at the 44 yard line nice catch by the receiver but it still doesn't get a first down So they get the reception, but it's not enough to move the chains. Third down coming up. Coach is going to hear about this when the game is over. Running the football in a situation like this, late in the game, you're down multiple scores. you got to take some chances. you got to throw it, and you got to throw it down the field. And this will probably wrap up the game. Staying with the running game on first down. He's in the clear, the 20, the 10. What an effort and a touchdown. We don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves 
and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense.